Simon, many congratulations at a hard-earned point. Do we, can we count ourselves a little unlucky that we've not actually come here and won this afternoon? I mean, you watched the game, Adam. I, I think so. You know, I thought we was uh, we started the game really well. We could have been two, two or three up. Um, and I look at the score, the scoreboard, and we're two 0 down. You know, but to dust ourselves down and come back from that, I thought we fully deserved the penalty. We probably should have had one or two more. Um, but we didn't get a lot today um, and, and thought we were excellent first half. You know, I said to the boys at half time, you know, you're two nil, you're two one down, but you know you're well in the game, and, and we should we should have had three or four or five first half to come out. You know, we looked tired, and, and it was about digging in. It was about you know showing some pride. You know, in front of fans is a, is a different animal, um, and I thought we responded really well today. You must have been scratching your head on the sideline when we did go two down because it looked like only one team was going to score in that opening period and then we find ourselves two down. But the boys didn't stop plugging away. They created countless amount of chances before the penalty. Yep, yeah, absolutely. And, and ultimately, listen, I said on the bench, the, the, there was the difference, you know. They've had two chances, two crossing situations, really scored two goals. We probably had six, seven, eight at that time and, and were still sitting with no goals. Um, so, listen, it's something that we need to improve on. You know, if we were as clinical today as we should have been, we should, we could possibly have, you know, five, six goals. You know, as the game panned out and it opened up, we counted brilliantly. You know, on, on the odd occasion, we picked the right option. I thought their goalkeeper was fantastic. Uh, but too many occasions, we maybe picked the wrong option. Just need to slow down, have a deep breath and find that, that little bit of detail that, that, that makes that final pass good. But, you know, I can't fault the lads for their effort. You know, it was, uh, I'm disappointed to not win the game. In all honesty, from that performance, I was disappointed not to win the game. But this it's another point. We take a lot of pride with it. You know, and we move into Tuesday's game in good spirits. I wanted to touch on the defensive side of the performance. I thought Ben Richards, Evan, and Ben Nugent were absolute mountains at the back today. I mean, the whole back four, fantastic performance. <clears throat> yeah, listen, you know, we'll, we'll look back on the video because they conceded two goals, so they, 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 weren't, they weren't faultless. Um, but, you know, they really come to the party. They they won headers, and I thought, to be fair, I thought they were excellent on Tuesday as well. I thought they'd done well at Solio. So, two good performances from the back four. Um, you know, we still conceded three goals, so we need to look at that. But I thought Adam was good at times when he when he needed to be. He kicked well at times when he needed to be. He's a strong wind, as you can see here today. Um, but now, listen, the back four stood firm. You know, even when I moved Femis in there and we played five at the back for the last 10, 15 minutes, uh, because tactically they caused us a, a different problem with the centre half going up front. So we, we tried to counteract that, but I thought he went in there and done well. So yeah, listen, to a man, I thought they, they gave me everything today. And listen, that's all I can ask. I said to you when we've got beat, all I ask is maximum effort. You know, tactically we can improve, technically we can improve. I mean, our decision making needs to improve. But let's start. Let's start with honesty. Let's start with hard work. You know, and if they give me that, you know, I think we'll get more results like we did today. We've said at times since you come in that we've been disappointed with our, our set piece delivery. Sam Skeffington's deliveries today were fantastic, and <laughs> Femis could have had a hat trick. Yeah, he could have had a hat trick. Um, and it's funny because we was going to practice them yesterday. We went out, but it was absolutely 200 <laughs> mile an hour winds at the training ground yesterday. And there was no point in practising them. So we didn't practise them. We just went through stuff on the video uh, and obviously went through them in the changing room. But no, listen, his delivery was good. We looked at Torquay, they marked only uh, three zones. So we, we knew we could cause some problems, certainly without swingers there. Uh, and we knew the areas we wanted to hit. And listen, we're a big team and we should be a threat from set pieces. So it was nice to see today. I heard you say to the guy from BBC Radio London that having the fans in the ground really made a difference. Yeah. We can really look forward to this week now two home games in front of our supporters on the back of what's a great performance and a good result well I hope so because you know as I said we've got some we got some making up to do to them and I even got called a few names I haven't been called before today which is it's nice it's always uh, never too old to get called a new name so this is brilliant <laughs> and uh, listen, away from home I'm glad we upset people you know I'm glad the fans didn't like us because that means we're doing our job um, 
So, yeah, brilliant. And for our fans, you know, we want to put two performances on for our fans that they can go away into the break, you know, with some hope that, that things are going to get better here.